Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the zeolite process which is also known as permitted process. Zeolite is chemically known as hydrated sodium aluminum silicate and its formula is Na2O Al2O3 X SiO2 Y H2O where the value of X varies from 2 to 10 and the value of Y varies from 2 to 6. The zeolites may be natural or synthetic. Especially the sodium ions in the zeolite are active. They can be replaced by the hardness producing calcium or magnesium ions. And hence simply it can be called as sodium zeolite and simply it can be represented as Na2Ze. So coming to the zeolite process. In this process generally hard water is passed through the zeolite bed then this zeolite bed is capable of exchanging its sodium ions with hardness producing cations such as calcium and magnesium with the result the hardness producing cations will be removed from the hard water whereas the anions are left in the treated water so coming to the reactions taking place in the zeolite process so whenever hard water is passed through the zeolite bed the calcium and magnesium ions are being replaced by the sodium ions that means it results in the formation of calcium zeolite and magnesium zeolite along with the formation of sodium salts so after some time when all the sodium ions present in the zeolite are being replaced by the calcium and magnesium ions, then the bed is called as exhausted zeolite bed. So, this exhausted zeolite can be regenerated by washing with brine solution. Brine solution means it is 10% sodium chloride solution. So, whenever the exhausted zeolite bed is washed with sodium chloride solution, then the calcium and magnesium ions can be replaced by the sodium ions that means it again results in the formation of sodium zeolite coming to the limitations of zeolite process here the turbidity of the water should be less than 10 ppm if at all the water contains the colored ions like manganese and iron it results in the formation of manganese zeolite and iron zeolite which cannot be regenerated so whenever acidic water is passed through the zeolite bed it destroys the zeolite bed so for the treatment of acidic water zeolite method is not suitable at the same time this method can replace only hardness producing cations and leaves anions as such coming to the advantages by this method the hardness can be removed up to 10 ppm if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day